guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Mike Spiller. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button right now. Even the like one, even if you want to. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to be talking about, about Mixcraft. This is going to be part two of getting started with Mixcraft. If you have not seen part one, I highly suggest you watch it first. That's where I cover the basics. Today, I'm going to be teaching you, like, like, let's say, okay, you have your beat ready, you want to stand a bit, you want to start recording, you know, you want to get some work done. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Usually, I delete the video track, because we're not going to use it, we're not making a video right now. Alright, this is, is going to be your audio track. To get a beat in Mixcraft, you just simply drag it in, no matter where it is. You just drag it in, or you can actually say import audio. Um, like, like I told you guys... The FX button is going to be where you add your effects. Now, do not, I repeat, do not add any effects on this beat, on any beat that you draw in, unless it's one of your own, because this beat was most likely produced and mastered to its peak and quality by a professional producer. So, meaning the beat already is perfect as it is. Alright, I usually add some extra audio tracks. <coughs> okay, so we're just going to start off with a simple vocal. And see what happens. Okay, like I told you guys, you click arm to start recording in the track. Watch your pickup. Don't get into the red. You want to stay right in the middle. Okay, let's try something. You are now listening yeah. to Alexander Chess music. Sorry guys, my vocals are not the best in the world, I just tried something. Alright, you're gonna unclick arm. So the first thing you do, you're gonna click on the audio track that you just recorded. Go to the audio right here. And then you're gonna click on normalize. And that's gonna happen. Alright, as you can see, we have some background noise here. That is because the, the beat is gonna be in the background. Let me just click on solo so the track plays alone, as you can hear. The beat is lightly in the background because I did not use headphones to record. Like I told you guys, if you want to go to preference, if you want to record with it. Either way, that, that's for part three anyway. So yeah, but today I want to be teaching you guys how to use different types of effects. Okay, that's basically the topic of today's video. So we're going to go click on the FX button. Here you have all your effects. Now again, it depends on you and what sound you're looking for. So you, you're going to have to play around and um find your own preference you know sounds that work for you to get your unique particular sound i on the other hand highly recommend free effects you have to have a multi-band compressor it's going to give you that you know that um it's going to remove some of the background noise also you can do so much with this you can play around here with the ratio the gain the side and amp. i will explain what all these are but for now you just need to know that you just have to play around with it to get your sound I usually go here and I put it on smooth. That's usually the best setting if you want to get the, those bright, clean vocals. Uh, if you want something with more auto-tune on something like that, we'll get to that as well. The second effect I highly recommend, obviously, is some reverb. I use classic reverb. It's more simpler for me. This is going to be the amount of reverb that you use on your audio track. I'm going to turn mine down to just almost all the way. This is going to be the volume button, but we rarely use this. Okay, and then the third effect, obviously, is going to be my Pultonic Tube Equalizer. Now, what makes this effect so amazing is, bro, look at this. This, this, there's so much you can do, and it, it gives you that perfect balance. Like you can, you can um, play around with the volume of the high frequencies, mid frequencies, low frequencies. Also, you can affect the low frequency cut, which is very awesome because it comes in handy. Um, for starters, I'm going to put mine on a clean high frequency boost all right so now we're going to listen to our vocals okay you are now listening yeah. to alexander chess music no inside inside my mind i unwind unwind the problems i find 
Up and down, watch me climb, me climb. My vocals are so bad. <laughs> uh, okay, so when your vocals are as bad as mine, not all my vocals are bad, just just for the record. Let me just flex for a second and say I I am a pretty good vocalist, but right now I'm lazy and I'm making a video. Alright, so this is a preset you're gonna have to download. It's the T-Pain effect. This will give your track some auto-tune. Um, now, you already have G-Snap pitch correction, which is sort of an auto-tune um, on Mixcraft as well, but it has... It, 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 um, it doesn't give you that, that real um, auto-tune sound, if you know what I mean. But we're gonna use this one since not everybody has the T-Pain effect. I will make another video next to the, um, after this one where you can download the T-Pain effect to get the full auto-tune experience. Now, here we go into our uh, G-Snap pitch correction, as you can see. A lot of things you can adjust here. Mainly, you're gonna focus on the amount and the keys, which you want to be auto-tuned. I usually put mine on T-Pain Chromatic, which is actually the, the best one. It balances with most vocals and whatever. And then as your song plays, <laughs> to a different style. No, inside, inside my mind, I unwind, unwind the problems I find. Up and down, watch me climb, me climb. You see, so it sounds a bit more commercial, but if you can hear what I hear, the autotune is a bit too much. You don't want to overwhelm your, your unique, perfect sound. Because, let me remind you, everybody uses autotune. So I actually recommend not using autotune um, to the fullest. But always, always just add a dash of autotune just to give it that balance and to make it blend with your mix properly. So yeah, these are the four effects. It was supposed to be free, but I added one special. <laughs> these are the four effects that I highly recommend you use overall. After that, you can just play around and find ones that work for you. Also, it's going to depend on your system. Sometimes you won't even need these effects. Sometimes if you have an amazing mic or you have an amazing sound card, it's not necessarily necessary. All right. All right, so now, now that I have the effects that I have, right? Next, you want to focus on the volume. You want your vocals, you don't want your vocals to be too loud, but you also want them to be in front of the mix. What I mean by that is it should be, no, well, not the loudest, but it should be the, it sh should attract the most attention. Again, this is just my preference. I'm not a like big professional sound engineer or something. I, I make music. You know, I've been doing this for quite some time and I'm just sharing my um, opinions and my thoughts on how to do these things. So, um, let's listen to it again. No, inside, inside my mind. This is going to be your volume button right here. That's where you can adjust it. Or, like I said, you can go into FX. You can go to your reverb. You can adjust it down here. You can do it within your um, multiband compressor. Either, every one of these effects you can also use. But this is going to be the main one. So I'll just focus on that. No, inside, inside my mind I unwind, unwind the problems I find. Right. Up and okay, so now... We have our vocal at the peak, at the perfect volume. So now you, I want you to click this line next to undock. This is going to bring you here, remember? You can also get here by double clicking on the channel. Now as you can see, there are four red sections here. Project, Sound, Mixer and Library. I want you to go to your mixer. Okay, and now this is where you, you're going to need to use your ears a bit. Uh, we're going to click on solo so our vocals are playing alone, okay? Now I want us to listen to it and actually try to figure out if there's anything wrong. Maybe some of maybe it's a bit too muddy or maybe too bright. Let's listen to it and, and see if we can figure out if there's something wrong. No inside, inside my mind I unwind, unwind the problems I find. Okay, now for me, the high frequencies are a bit low. So I'm gonna add a little bit of high frequency and increase the mid also just by a dash let's hear the difference no inside inside my mind i unwind unwind the problems i find okay like i said it, it would, would have sound way better if i did not have the background noise but for the purpose of this video i had to use it like that um so yeah you're gonna have to play around with that as well it again it depends on your preference it depends on what exactly you're looking for um so yeah 
Then obviously we're gonna have some backup vocals. This is gonna be in the the next channel right below. Um, but I don't think we're gonna do backup vocals today. I just wanted to tackle this section alone for this video. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I want to remind you to please subscribe and uh, to smash that like button. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I upload daily. So yeah, again, thank you guys so much. Peace.